Hi everyone, this is Linda. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to share with you a just a really quick video um, showcasing a few of the beads that I was gifted from Elf Beads. Um, this is their new, uh, or these are some of the beads from the new Earth Collection. I was uh, gifted these five beads right here. And this particular collection is uh, Elf Beads Love Song, uh, basically for the um, incredible planet uh, that we all share. Um, you know, they're encouraging us on their website to think of the variety of textures, climates, and inhabitants. Um, so I'm going to just show you a really quick close-up of all of these. Um, going from right to left, we have Golden Dunes, the Amazonia Golden Greenery, uh, Coral Reef, Arctic Aurora Borealis, and Antarctic Aurora Australis. So let me get everything uh, just um, off this rod here and just show you one by one. So this here is Golden Dunes, and this is the only matte bead from the collection that I was gifted. There are two others. There's one called um, Sandstorm, which appears to be kind of a, a cream and um, almost like a golden yellow color. And then there's another one called Desert Oasis that uh, appears to be kind of like a sky blue that has um, maybe a like a marbled like grayish uh, black marbling uh, texture on it um, those two i'm very curious to see in person as well but this one is entirely opaque as you can see um, this has a cream base and then it has these um, brownish uh, almost I don't know, it, it has like little hints of um, like almost golden yellow, um, almost like little flashes of yellow in there. Um, I almost feel like the brown um, almost has like a reddish uh, color to it in a way, almost like a burgundy-ish um, reddish base. But then you see that touch of gold just kind of flashing um, throughout as well. Very, very pretty bead. So that one is Golden Dunes. This next one here is Amazonia Golden Greenery. This one is just a beautiful, bright, lime green um, and then it appears to have uh, like touches of gold flake kind of interspersed throughout I'm just gonna put my yeah it does focus a little bit better once I have my hand back here but you can see it is a faceted bead and whether you have my hand with out in the background or have it in the background it is just a beautiful bead here is the side profile. You can see the glass itself is clear, so all of that color is at the core of the bead. And then this one is faceted, so it just reflects the light very beautifully. So that one, again, is the Amazonia Golden Greenery. And just for play, I did grab one of the frosted flower twigs um, from the Halloween collection. And I just thought that the green in this particular one uh, really is a nice pairing um, with this newest bead. I'll um, put the name of this particular um, flower twig down here so you can see it um, on the site as well if you're interested. but. Look how beautifully those two pair together. The next bead that I wanted to share is this one here called Coral Reef. And this particular bead has these little, I'm hoping you can see it here, um, 
like sea life, like you have a starfish, and then you have all these different uh, little seashells and uh, like bubbles, you know, from the water, just kind of rising up from the base of the bead. Um, this one is just so mesmerizing to look at. Um, my particular uh, bead has almost like a very soft, uh, like a bluish gray base. And then you have those bright pops of um, orange from the starfish. And um, you can just kind of see all the other little um, seashells that are just kind of floating around. Um, here it is from a side profile, and you can see all the magic again is at the core of the bead. It's definitely got a clear overlay, and then it is faceted. Um, this bead is just gorgeous. And I know, like, I've watched, um, you know, videos from Teddy and Neka and Ali, and, um, you know, I, I believe like some of theirs almost has more of a brighter Caribbean blue base. Um, this is one I definitely want to get a second one of. And honestly, if I get one that has more of a brighter blue base, um, I'm going to love both of these because this one I think is uh, very unique. Or maybe it's just the way it is coming across on the camera. But here you can see mine is more of a softer um, bluish gray, but that one is Coral Reef. Here we have the Arctic Aurora Borealis, and this is just a very soft um, pastel bead. Like I could see this one being a star on an Easter bracelet. Um, it has this soft uh, sky blue, like it goes from a very baby blue almost to a um, somewhat darker, brighter blue. And then it has um, these striations or stripes of this reddish violet, um, pinky violet, just kind of going throughout the bead here. Um, this one as you can see, again, all the magic is at the core. Uh, clear glass overlay with faceting. Uh, very beautiful bee. And I did grab um, a couple of the frosted flower twigs again from the Halloween collection. Um, and I'll put their names down here. But um, although the blue is not a 100% match, I think it would be very, very pretty um, on a bracelet together. And then um, I'm not 100% sure if I'm completely in love with this one um, paired with it because this one does have a black um, base to it. But I thought that the... Um, overlay of the flower twigs were a nice match to that uh, reddish violet. I'm just not 100% convinced if I'm totally in love with this pairing, but the blue one um, I can see on a bracelet together. So I'll link the names of those two um, down here somewhere. The last bead that I wanted to share with you is this one here, and it is called the Antarctic Aurora Australis. And this one um, has that cobalt blue um, just front and center, but it has multiple colors, as you can see. There's like pistachio green, and there is yellow. Um, I feel like there's a little white or maybe a softer blue right there. Um, but this is just such a stunning bead. And this one um, also, you know, has all the magic 
at the core, has a clear glass overlay with the faceting. And this one, uh, like when I was thinking of beads to pair with, um, this one right here uh, was the first one I thought of. Um, also uh, from the Halloween collection from 2022. Um, and I'll again link the name down here, but what a perfect match to that uh, cobalt blue. So let me just get everything lined up here so you can see them all together. And these are five beads from the Earth collection that I was gifted. Um, there are a few beads uh, that I still would like to get, um, those being the Desert Oasis, the Sandstorm, and I believe it's the Tropical Seabed. I think that one will be a really nice pair with this uh, coral reef. But uh, let me know what you think of these uh, in the comments below. Um, if you like my videos, uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. And as always, I love it when you guys like my videos and uh, better yet, even comment. Uh, it's definitely nice interacting with all of you. Um, I hope you all are having a wonderful day and staying well and staying safe. We'll catch you in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.